Hello, everybody. Thanks for watching Hutch's Weather. Morning rain showers. I'll show you where they're tracking. We're going to look at that update from the drought monitor, and it doesn't look good for some areas. Hey, head over to your YouTube channel and find Hutch's Weather. Search Hutch's Weather. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell to know when I'm updating you. Let's get started with your forecast update now. But first, my friends at Robert Gibbons Sons want to ask you, if you've got a hot or cool spot in your home or office, a ductless mini split system might be just right for you. It's a quality Bryant system. Whatever it takes, they're energy efficient, quiet, powerful, provide year-round comfort, and you can save on your energy bills. But not only that, get up to $2,000 in a tax rebate. Call Robert Gibbons Sons today. Let them know that Hutch sent you. All right. Now, as we take a look at this drought monitor, we're going to start out west in Montana. Drought is expanding out of the Rockies across parts of the northern Rockies now as it heads up into that Glacier Park area and the Highway 2 corridor through northern and northeast Montana. That's pretty dry. Remember, the oranges are severe drought. The red, just ridiculous and extreme drought. And sneaking over into North Dakota, the northern reaches and western reaches of the state are the driest. Now, note the brown here is just moderate uh, drought out there with abnormally dry conditions elsewhere. Faring pretty well here, but worsening conditions in northern Minnesota taking place in and around Lake of the Woods. We've heard about Marshall County abnormally dry there to say the least as we go through. This extends down into the Bemidji area, Park Rapids, and even parts of Lakes Country that haven't quite got the amount of rain. So where is the rain and what can we count on? Let's go ahead and take a look at the European model for the details on that right now. Now the European model, I'm gonna switch this over to rainfall, not necessarily the hour by hour radar, but you can watch as we go through the weekend here, not many chances until we get to early in the week. And then beyond that, it's just hit and miss showers and thunderstorms. So not a huge organized rain event, but sometimes these thunderstorms can certainly bring uh, some significant rain to local places. So let's go ahead and take a look at the total amount of rain as we uh, march up in time. Going through Friday, Friday morning showers could equate to measurable rain in the southeast quadrant of North Dakota and northwest Minnesota where we could use some. That's good. But much of the area of western Montana remains quite dry. Hey, western North Dakota, eastern Montana getting another round as we go through Saturday night. And then on Sunday, Saturday night late and Sunday, that moves into the valley here. So a fair chance at seeing some measurable pre precipitation from northern portions of Minnesota through most of the southern half of North Dakota. Remember, it's driest in North Dakota north and out to the west. And again, staying very drought-stricken and ridden across parts of Montana. That's a quick look at your forecast. I'm anticipating beautiful conditions for your Thursday night tonight. And again, on Saturday, Friday morning showers will be dancing through. You can see my video on that on Hutch'sWeather.com. Otherwise, I want you to have a wonderful evening, and we'll talk again right here. You're watching Hutch's Weather. Thanks for watching. Thank you for following me on Facebook and subscribing on YouTube.